Welcome to another video on how to do better rag. In a previous video, I showed you how to use late interactions as a possible replacement to dense embeddings. In this video, we will build an end to end rag pipeline in which we're going to replace the dense embeddings with late interactions using Colbert. Just like my previous video, we're going to be using the Ragatui package. But this time I'll show you how to use this with Langchain as well as Llama index. So let's get started. Okay, so I put together uh, this Google Colab notebook. Let's look at how we're going to do that using Langchain. So we need to install all the required packages that include the regulatory package Langchain. We're going to be using uh, OpenAI LLM. So we need the Langchain OpenAI package as well. And we're going to be using a PUI PDF for reading a PDF file. So first and foremost, just like the previous video, uh, we will uh, import the uh, RAG pre-trained model from the regulatory package. If you haven't seen that video, I'll highly recommend uh, to watch that because that will give you a lot more context. <clears throat> Next, uh, we are downloading the um, Colbert V2 model that is going to be used for computing the late interactions. Next, we need um, a knowledge base. So in this case, I'm using the ORCA paper. And what I have done here is I have uploaded that here to my Google Colab notebook. The way you upload files is just right click, click on upload and then select the file. Uh, so you can upload it directly to your Google Colab. Now uh, we use the uh, PI PDF loader to load the PDF file. So this will actually give me all the pages. It has a total of uh, 55 pages. But uh, in order to use this with the Ragatui package, we need to extract uh, text from each page and put them together. So here I'm basically extracting uh, the text and creating another variable which is concatenating all the text from the file. And we will see uh, the whole file as a string here, right? So I'm just printing that in here. Okay. Here we're looking at the file type to make sure that we have a string uh, rather than uh, the uh, document objects that Langchain usually creates. Okay. Next, we're going to create our index. In order to do that, we need to provide uh, the list of documents. So here we're going to be providing that single um, string that we created. Uh, then we need to provide the name of the index. I'm calling this ORCA paper. You want to also provide the max document length. So think of this as a chunk size. Um, there are definitely strategies to get better uh, chunking. But the beauty of um, uh, Colbert is that instead of using or instead of computing a single dense embedding for the whole chunk, it's going to compute embeddings for each and every individual token. Uh, so that gives us better retrieval accuracy. And we want it to split documents based on this uh, chunk size. I'm going to create us another video talking about how to do the chunking, right? But once we set this up, this basically is going to uh, create a played uh, index. You can use uh, FICE as well. You will just need to provide uh, FICE as a, a parameter in here. Okay, so it created the embeddings uh, for all those chunks and the length is around uh, 31,000. Right, so once you create the embeddings, next we need to look at how do you do retrieval, right? So this uh, part is very similar to what we have seen in the previous video. So we're going to use this rag object, then call the search function on it, pass on our uh, query. So I'm asking what is instruction tuning and then how many chunks I want the model to retrieve. Now, here are the retrieval results. So you get uh, the chunk or text of chunk that is going to be the content. With that, you also get a score of relevance, like how close this chunk is uh, to the uh, query that you asked. You also get the rank and then uh, document ID and passage IDs. It's just to keep track of where uh, this specific chunk is in the documents. 
Okay, so since we asked for three different chunks, uh, here we get three different uh, results or three different passages. Okay, now in typical rag, uh, you will pass those on uh, as relevant chunks plus the query to your LLM. So you can do exactly the same thing. Uh, you can use this as a retriever in Langchain directly. So there is a function called as Langchain Retriever that will basically create a Langchain Retriever uh, on top of the Regatui package, right? And then just like you will use the uh, Retriever in Langchain, you can call the invo invoke function, pass on your query, and you will get your resultant documents. So again, uh, since we are asking it to retrieve three different chunks, it will just give us these three different chunks. But now in order to uh, generate a response based on these retrieved chunks, we will need to pass this on to an LLM. And the way you do it is you create a chain, right? So, so far, uh, if you think about, we haven't actually used any embedding model. Um, so it, it's used, it's an internal embedding model, not like an open AI or any other uh, open source embedding model. But for the LLM, we will need um, to use either an open source LLM or uh, a proprietary LLM. In this case, to keep things very simple, I'm going to be using the open AI LLM. Uh, so here I set up my API key within Google Colab Notebook. So I activated that and basically uh, I'm, I'm retrieving that and passing it, uh, it on to this uh, environment variable called OpenAI API key. Now to create a chain, uh, I will create a prompt template. In, in this case, uh, the prompt template is answer the following question based on the previous context. Right? And here uh, I'm using this, um, uh, these tags to basically tell it what the context is. And then it's supposed to uh, give us uh, an answer based on the question that we provide, right? The LLM uh, is going to be GPT 3.5, right? Uh, so we create a stuffed document. So basically whatever context the uh, Colbert model retrieves, that is going to be stuffed here as a context, right? And that's why we are using this create uh, stuff documents chain. Uh, and then we pass this on plus the retriever that we created. So that is based on the regatui package to this create retrieval chain. So this is going to be our retrieval chain. And now you can ask questions on top of the retrieval chain. So the thing that you get is the input variable. That is basically your question. You, it will also gives you the whole uh, context and it's going to have another key for answer. So uh, right now, I'm just putting everything in the response variable and then just uh, using this uh, answer key to get the answer, right? So our, our question was, what is instruction tuning? And the response is, instruction tuning is a technique that allows pre-trained language models to learn from input, natural language, description of task, and response pairs, right? So the response looks pretty good because the context um, that the Colbert model was able to retrieve is actually uh, pretty close to what we were looking for. Okay, so that was the implementation in Langchain. Now let's look at how we do exactly the same thing within Llama Index. So again, we'll need to install uh, some required packages that include Llama Index. We are going to be uh, downloading the regatory retrieval uh, as a pack from Llama Hub uh, this is basically a place where they're putting different, um, think about it as a, uh, independent implementations of different algorithms. So it's not part of the uh, actual Llama index uh, package, but people can contribute to Llama Hub. Uh, it's very similar to TensorFlow Hub back in the day. Okay, then we also need to install the uh, Llama index core. And since we're going to be using the um, OpenAI LLM, so we need uh, the OpenAI package as well, okay? So very similar to what we did before. Uh, here, we are just using the simple directory reader uh, to read the PDF file, right? And that will convert it into documents objects. Next, as I said, we need to download the um, 
uh, Ragatui Retrieval Pack from Llama Hub. So here, uh, how you can download it. We're using the download Llama Pack, then pass on uh, the name of the package uh, pack that you want to download and where you're going to store it. So this will basically download and install all the dependencies. Next, we also need to uh, load our uh, OpenAI LLM because that is going to be used to generate responses when it's provided with the context. Okay, the rest is very similar to what we saw before. So we have our regulatory retrieval pack and we pass on the documents. So this is basically the list of documents, what LLM it's going to use, the name of the index and uh, how many um, relevant chunks uh, we want to uh, uh, retrieve, right? So previously I said uh, three, now I'm just um, uh, using the default value of five, right? So this is basically create uh, a rack pipeline, end-to-end -end rack pipeline. Okay, so once this runs, uh, it will do a very similar embedding process. Again, this is going to be using played because it's using the uh, regatory package at the backend. But if you want to use files as a DB or index, you can use that as well. It just needs to pass on this specific flag. Now, this does uh, the document chunking a little different and that's why uh, we will get a different number of uh, embedding vector or dimensions right the total number of examples that are going to be converted are going to be a little different but i think you can control that now in order to run this we will use the run command so basically you use the um, pack that we created then call the run command on it and pass on our query uh, so for the first time, uh, when you run the first query, it has to load the index in memory. That's why it's going to take a bit longer and you will see this message. Uh, but for subsequent queries, it's going to be extremely fast. Right? Now, the response contains multiple things. There is an actual response object, which is the response of the model. But um, along with that, you also get uh, the information regarding different chunks uh, or documents that are retrieved by the model, right? So here's the final response. If you want to look at it, instruction tuning is a technique that allows pre-trained language models to learn from input and response pairs, right? So overall, uh, the response that it created was uh, pretty accurate because the retrieval step is, um, I think, relatively more accurate compared to uh, smaller dense embeddings. Okay, so this was a quick video. I just wanted to show you how to um, use Colbert based contextualized late interactions as a possible replacement to uh, dense embeddings. It's a very powerful technique. I highly recommend everybody to check it out. This uh, can definitely help you take your RAG pipelines uh, or RAG applications to next level. If you want to learn about more advanced RAG techniques, I am creating a course make sure to sign up for that. Link is going to be in the video description. I also offer consulting and advising services. If you are interested, check out the description for more detail. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.